of man-eating sharks swirling in tornadoes is the basic premise of Sharknado. For all of its wonder and bad dialogue glory, it's barely even raining. It's flooding here, and not the plumbing, the ocean. Sharknado sparked one of the biggest crazes in the social media world, specifically Twitter. With hashtag Sharknado taking a bite out of the number one trending topic as sci-fi premiered the epic movie that many say is so bad, it's good. I love making corny jokes, and especially with Sharknado, because it's really corny. It's tweeters like Jeremy that have helped change the way we watch TV, at least according to a new study by Nielsen. Revolutions start on Twitter. I mean, Twitter is a way to, you know, light a match and, and see what happens. Eric Yeverbaum is a longtime social media expert, president of Erico Communications, and publisher of a magazine dedicated to the world of Twitter. He sat down with us to talk about the Nielsen study and how its findings show that tweets have an influence to higher TV ratings. The fact that there's a direct correlation between ratings and what people are saying in all of those social mediums, you know, it's also not surprising either. Uh, you're going to see more and more and more of that. But what is surprising is that it's taken about seven years for a study like this to come out since Twitter was first created. This is really one of the first studies that we've ever seen that uses statistical evidence to prove the direct correlation between TV broadcasting and social media. You know, everyone on Twitter is, of course, thinking, hashtag awesome. Twitter execs certainly did their fair share of promoting the study, as you can see by this tweet. And all of this Twitter chatter has not only made Sharknado a cult classic, it has also changed the way Nielsen plans to document ratings. The company announced a new rating system will soon be released to include social media's impact. In Midtown, Hillary Whittier, Pix11 News.